Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're checking out the Air Slim Pack, an incredibly slim backpack styled for the work environment, ideal for professionals who carry light. I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if any of that sounds good to you or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Let's jump right in and check out the Air Slim Pack. The Slim Pack is part of Air's work collection. In that collection are a whole bunch of bags designed and styled specifically for the work environment. So if you're interested in seeing more bags from that collection, go to our channel and check out the Air playlist. But getting onto the bag, with the materials on the front face of the bag, there is an 840 denier nylon, which is coated with a durable, weather-resistant carbon polyurethane coating, so it's incredibly water-resistant. Covering the rest of the bag is Air's standard 1680 denier ballistic nylon Kodura, which is a really robust material. From a branding perspective, there's a little logo tab here on the side, as well as an embossed logo on all the zipper pulls, and there is also a logo patch inside the bag as well. On the top, as well as the right side of the bag, are these heavy-duty haul handles. They're thick and padded, they have this soft nylon webbing which makes it really easy to grab hold of. On top of that, the side handle works really well if you want to carry the bag briefcase style. Getting to the back, we have a fairly simple harness system. We have thick, padded and contoured shoulder straps that kind of taper at the bottom for an ergonomic fit. These shoulder straps have an air mesh wicking on the padding so it's going to be very breathable and comfortable. Now the back panel is lightly padded, it is fairly flat and that's because you're not going to be storing too much in this bag. There won't be a heavy load burdening your carry so there isn't too much padding on the back panel here. On the shoulder strap there is no sternum strap again because it's going to be a lighter carry typically and then further below we have Duraflex hardware for the ladder locks as well as some elastic webbing for strap management. On the back panel we do have a fairly simple nylon webbing here which serves as the luggage pass-through so if you do happen to be using this bag for traveling and you're carrying some rolling luggage as well you can slip the handle of the rolling luggage through that pass-through and then just streamline your carry while you're traveling. Just a little pro tip the luggage pass-through works really well to tuck away those shoulder straps when you're not using them when you're carrying it briefcase style. Getting on to the compartments, there are no compartments on the front face of the bag, that's very much the aesthetic that a lot of the bags in the work collection are going for, but at the very top of the front face there is a small zippered compartment here. This compartment also utilizes a Hyperlon zipper garage which you can just tuck away that zipper and it provides a little bit more water protection. But this compartment here is for delicate items, it's got a fleece lining, this soft padded fleece lining to protect devices from any scratches, but also a good place to put quick access items like some Bluetooth wireless headphones, as well as a moment lens. It's a fairly deep compartment as well. It goes to about here in the bag. So you can put a fair few things inside this fleece line pocket. Now the next compartment is the main compartment. This is where you're gonna be putting most, if not all of your gear. There's only this compartment and the small zippered compartment that we just looked at. If you're familiar with the other bags in Air's work collection, there's typically an organization compartment, a main cargo compartment, and a laptop compartment, or something along those lines. But here in the Slim Pack, it's all combined into one compartment. We've got the organization panel here, as well as the laptop compartment. Starting with the organization panel, we have a number of pockets to help you sort out all of your little bits and pieces. We've got elastic slip pockets that can accommodate a few different sizes of gear in those pockets. So in this pocket here, I've just got some wired earphones. There's also a pen slot for you to put a pen or a stylus. And then on the end, there is a mesh pocket, which inside I have my Nomad Universal cable. Just at the top, there is a zippered compartment which goes all the way along the organization panel. Here you can put a number of things like snacks, maybe some more cables, dongles, things like that. There is also a key leash which you can attach your keys to. So I've just got my Orbit key attached there. And then behind that we have another slip pocket to store some bigger items, some more chunkier items. So I've got my Apple MacBook charger. I've got some reading glasses as well as my lacy portable hard drive. There's a lot of dimension inside this compartment because it does kind of eat into all this space on the top front face of the bag. So you've got a decent amount of space here. You could even put a large jacket or a combination of different items of clothing inside this pocket. Uh, it is actually quite deep. It goes to the base of the bag. Flipping to the other side of the main compartment, we do have an elasticized document pocket which you can put a number of things inside like some notebooks, uh, a folder or a magazine. 
I've just got an A5 workbook as well as an A4 Rodeo dot pad. And then behind that, we have a padded and fleece lined laptop compartment. This laptop compartment can fit up to a 15 inch laptop. This is my 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina. And it fits in there really well. There's space on the side as well as on the top for bigger laptops. And an important thing to note with this laptop compartment, it is suspended from the base of the bag. So if you accidentally drop the bag, your laptop won't be the first thing that's impacted. There is some buffer to protect your laptop from any kind of bumps like that. So this is the slim pack on me. I'm 5'10". And just to compare with something that's slightly bigger than the Slim Pack, this is the Day Pack 2. Well everyone, that is the Air Slim Pack. It's a really small and really slim backpack. It's not as feature heavy as some of the other bags from the work collection like the Day Pack 2 or the Tech Pack 2, but it's not skimping out on the high quality construction and the high quality materials from Air. It's ideal for the working professional that just carries a few things to work, maybe some documents, maybe some pens, things like that, maybe a laptop, and wants that bag to be in a slim, minimalist silhouette. If you are looking for something exactly like that, but in the briefcase silhouette, then check out the Air Commuter Brief 2. We recently did a video on that. But if you're interested in getting the Slim Pack, there's going to be some affiliate links in the description below. If you like this video, you found it helpful, and you're thinking about getting this bag, then please do consider using those affiliate links. They really do help us out. And even if you're not thinking about getting this bag, but you want to support our work, hit the like button, hit the bell. Let us know in the comments. We always want to hear your opinions on the bags that we do walkthroughs on. And as always, subscribe to see See more carry gear walkthroughs just like this. If you do want to see more walkthroughs on air bags then check out the links on the screen at the end of this video but for now this has been the air slim pack take care and we'll see you next time.